Vision is behind the making of runners. Thank you all. Welcome to Thursday, the 27th of May, 2021. Our topic today is service to God, a doorway to accessing the supernatural supplies. The Bible says, and ye shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread, and bless your water, and thou, and I shall take sickness away from the midst of thee. Exodus 23, 25. Thought for the day, when you make up your mind to serve God and service your generation, supernatural supplies will naturally flow to you. It has been confirmed that service to God is a covenant blessing connector. Service is a covenant or a connector of the supernatural supplies of God by the covenant. The book of Exodus 23-25 makes it very clear that if you serve the Lord, you shall be blessed. And please note that it is not just serving God, but servicing your generation. When God blesses you greatly, what would you do with the money? Of course, it is to service your generation. When you minister welfare to people, you would realize that there are many people in need. Many times, you will not even know where to start from in meeting the needs of people, but always start somewhere. Let's give you an example. After preaching on a Sunday service one day, as my husband was attending to people, he saw many of them in diverse needs. One of them said to him, he didn't have where to sleep that night. He didn't even know what to eat that night. Many people are genuinely in need. God wants you to come to a point where you begin to service your generation. A point where you are positioned to service your generation with supplies, where you don't look for money in order to do that, where you don't look for money for personal comfort, but for the service of your generation. When you wake up, you make up your mind and you wake up to the realization of service to God, then your generation will benefit from you and supernatural supplies will naturally flow to you. Remember this, when you make up your mind to serve God and service your generation, supernatural supplies will naturally flow to you. What's our assignment today? Number one, make up your mind to be of service both to God and to your generation. Number two, be involved in service in the house of God. Let's pray. Say after me, Father, I receive the heart of a servant. I receive the grace to dedicatedly serve you and service my generation. Oh God, in Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm glad that you prayed that prayer and I know that God is in a hurry to bless you. Praise the Lord. Now we would want to look at what our quote is for today. Um, until you learn the art of service, you can't expect to receive from God. That is finally free from singleness by Dr. Becky Enenche. Daily reading for today is Psalm 55 to 57. Praise God. Reflection. Have you wiped the tear of anyone recently? Have you put the smile on the face of someone recently? Have you cared enough to listen to anyone's plight recently? Have you made a positive difference in the life of anyone recently? Please do it and the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. I pray for you today that may God put his hand in your, put in your hand what is in your heart so that you can do what is in your heart to do in Jesus name. You can't talk about blessing people when you are not yet born again and you want me to pray for you to be born again. Please pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person in Jesus name. Amen. God. I wish you a very happy birthday today. As your day, so shall your strength be. I pray that the Lord will help you to be a person of great blessing to your generation. In Jesus' name, praise God. Mm -hmm.